For about half a century, you've seen them fly by in spectacular formations, meticulously timed and performed. But what really goes into this process? We traveled to Laikipia Air Base in Nanyuki, where a rehearsal for the celebrations to mark 50 years of Kenya's independence was underway. It is in many ways one part of their institutional memory. What we want to see here is the flow. It all starts here at the briefing room. It is imperative for these pilots to get the brief from the different departments. You will call your personnel for a briefing. In your briefing, you will involve metrology. That is a very big factor. You'll have operations. Um, what is expected from ground, and then air traffic control. Once this is done, it's out to the field and it's time to start up the engines. And prepare for takeoff. Each pilot has to make sure that all is well and that the planes are in tip-top condition. Meanwhile, back at the dais, the deputy commander of the Air Force as well as the base commander of the Laikipia Air Base are on cue together with the communications department. The show is about to begin. Tiger and yellow 10. 12 yellow. Yellow and orange 20. Orange 20. The planes take to the runway and begin to taxi out. One by one, they make their way. The bulldogs, those are the white ones over there. Then the white wells, these are all making their way to the runway for takeoff. And then the others are preparing as well. We have the Dash 8 and the Buffalo. They too are not left behind. Long, the said kings of the air, the F-5 jets, traveling so fast by car you will take three hours from Laikipia to Nairobi, they will take eight minutes. And then one by one, they take off. And proceed to what they call holding areas as they await instructions. You can set the countdown. Then the countdown begins. This is a critical part of the operations. Jamahuri, you have four minutes, 50 seconds to go now. So on the D-Day, this will be the time when the ground troops will be marching and they are allocated specific times. For example, the time that you saw us giving them there, which was uh, about 10 minutes and 50 seconds, it means that at the elapse of 10 minutes and 50 seconds, the aircraft should be abeam the dais for the, uh, for the people on the stage or at the stadium to see them. So you talk to them on radio while looking at the troops who are marching on ground and give them time so that they adjust appropriately because sometimes when people are marching on ground, it cannot be so exact, so it changes. And when the time comes, the show begins. Each of them has about 15 seconds to showcase their planes and style. Why? After the first set, further instructions are given. And then the flyby is repeated. So it is quite involving. Uh, you need a lot of teamwork, you need a lot of discipline, and exercise good judgment at all times, and good airmanship. Uh, that will generally see you. It takes a lot of commitment. And then they land, and it's time for a debrief. Pilots disembark and talk among themselves. They tell me it's always a joy to be in the air, and it's quite evident. In every flight where there is a brief, there must be a debrief. So this is what we said we are going to do. This is what we did. Was it as expected? 
or was it not? If not, then what are the lessons learned as you? Each and every section leader, you know where you fall and between now and then, we want you to work on uh, bringing it uh, to what is required. Now, even as a lot of hard work is going into making sure that Kenyans enjoy the heritage that is Kenya at 50, there is a caveat. There are still some aircrafts uh, operating across the border. So we are not just concentrating on uh, the flyby and the entertainment, but we have taken care of the security. And so the next time that you see this plane or any other plane do a formation fly past, you will understand the meticulous planning that went through making it happen and thus appreciate not only the day, but the fact that all this is a part of our Kenyan heritage. Willis Shaburu, Citizen TV at the Laikipia Air Base in Nanyuki.